because I sound like a permanent drunk on a microphone. <laughs> and I talk <laughs> way too <laughs> fast. Well, <laughs> <laughs> monkey. Yeah, that's basically me. Well, hello there. Welcome to the Dirty Folk Podcast. I'm Max Mooseman, and this is my lovely wife, Harper the Fox. How you doing, Harper? I'm doing pretty good. How you doing? Well, I have the worst hemorrhoids of my life, and my <laughs> little baby boy is psychologically torturing me and never letting me sleep. I'm doing wonderful. He cackles and cackles and he ruins it all. I'm so ready to be funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ, help me. Help me! <laughs> Fuck's sake. It does hurt to sit down, though. That's true. I thought you were joking. No, I have the worst hemorrhoids of my life. They're terrible. Oh. So it's just thing on thing on thing, huh? Yes. It feels like I have a cactus gently wedged in my asshole. <laughs> so you're really turned on right now. I'm so turned on, and I feel so funny. <laughs> Great. We ask questions that you didn't ask us to ask, and we answer them here at the Dirty Folk Podcast, and most of them are horrifying or sexual or some other degeneracy like that. Uh, if you want to see us naked, you can do that. Look for it. It's out there. You know where. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to get more content, dirtyfolk.com, sign up for the mailing list. We do bonus episodes and bonus content through there every two weeks you get uh a collection of stuff i can't even fuck it this is gonna be it's horrible. <laughs> it's free turdyfolk.com sign up is free all right here's today's question okay i'm ready i think I, let's yeah yeah okay today's question if abraham lincoln was deeply into fisting and midgets, what would be the story of a very memorable night of fucking for Abraham Lincoln? Okay, so if we accept the widely known historical fact that Abraham Lincoln was into fisting and midgets. Yes. Uh, okay. If you believe the theory that some of our finer scholars put forth, that Abraham Lincoln's success was driven by his deep love of fisting and midgets. As many of his letters would lead you to believe. Y yes. <laughs> he wrote many letters that alluded to fisting and midgets, particularly <laughs> while executing the Civil War. <laughs> yes. Yes, there are even some Easter eggs in the Gettysburg Address, if you go looking. Yes. Okay. Four score. <laughs> Four score midgets. Four, four score. And seven fists. <laughs> alludes to the four fingers <laughs> curled around one thumb. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I see. Yeah. I see it. This is a Da Vinci Code moment for me. Yeah. Oh, uh, God. This is going to fucking... I fell asleep just then. <laughs> <laughs> With my eyes open, staring across from you. I fell asleep. I just, everything went black. <laughs> for a second. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Um. So, I'm going to make this a little bit more interesting and complicated mm -hmm. because abraham lincoln weren't no pussy okay he doesn't like to get fisted by midgets right too easy you know for a man of his stature i sort of assumed okay. that he's the one doing the fisting <laughs> he's a little too elite yeah is that what you mean by stature or do you mean his physical presence like is he a little too important and intelligent to be fisted by a midget <laughs> or yeah I think that's, uh, that's, that's what you for. meant. Not, yeah. not too tall. Yeah, it's it's frankly shameful to be fisted by a midget. Because he's like, probably also, you know, unless he's in the fetal position on the ground, if he's standing, he's probably also too tall to be fisted by a midget. Yeah, what are they just Mario punching up into his <laughs> asshole? <laughs> maybe I take it back. Maybe he can get, maybe he is into that. <laughs> he just makes them jump. <laughs> they just hang off of him like a Christmas bell. 
<laughs> you know, that is that is the leap way to do it, is take a couple in there at once, and then they can sort of click clack together. <laughs> <laughs> I call these... <laughs> These are the balls I choose, not the balls I was born with. <laughs> Click clack, motherfucker. <laughs> Big swinging balls. They talk. <laughs> Whew. Uh. Okay, so is that my LinkedIn voice? How? Okay, so we got to take this. It's a very memorable night of fucking, a particularly memorable night of fucking for Abraham mm-hmm. Lincoln, fisting and midgets. When in his life are we? Is this Abraham Lincoln as a young man? Mm. Yeah, I guess is- I've been sort of assuming that uh, that we're we're in the land of like he's already got the hat, he's got the presidency. But if we are to assume that uh, the scholars are correct and fisting and midgets are part of his rise to success, uh then perhaps we're dealing with young man Lincoln on the rise. Young man Lincoln on the rise. Swinging axes. Was he an axe swinger? Chopping down (laughs) cherry trees? Is that what you're thinking of? No, that's not what I'm thinking of. He he is famous for... Well, he worked on a farm. Grew up on a farm. And one of the things... he, He apparently was supposed to be like crazy strong oh yeah yeah and one of the things i remember is he would like like sailors or something would do these like competitions where you like you'd hold an axe out like oh yes like, you've told me about this so, you know you, so you stick your arm out sideways so you hold an axe out at its length mm-hmm. uh, like i can't describe this at all right now how would you describe that like you, you, hold like your you have an up. axe and you're pointing it like a scepter or a sword or something like straight out in front of you. Yeah, but I think then like, turn it out to the side. Yeah. So you're a T. You're a T. Or- yeah, you're like a cheerleader with an axe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Going, give me a T. <laughs> but only one of the hands is important. Is that clear? Audience? <laughs> Visualize it. <laughs> yeah. Do a little stick figure sketch. Send us a picture and we'll check you for clarity. <laughs> But so you hold it out until you can't hold it out no mo. Mm-hmm. And Abraham Lincoln would win that all the time. He's also a wrestler. Mm. So uh, yes, he he supposedly very strong. I'm getting a little hot for like young man Abraham Lincoln. You are. Yeah, I'm imagining like the the sort of youthful like he's got the like I don't know. I'm going off of like coin imagery here, but he seems to have sort of ch- like angular features, which. I, th- like, I think he was scrawny. Like, I think he was gangly, wiry, tall, wiry, sort of depressed, dark. Okay, so high school Harper would be super into Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> oh, my God. He's just so sad. He'd definitely be into some, like, emo core. Oh, fuck, yeah. <laughs> Sweep that hair all the way over yeah. one eye. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Wearing that hat ironically. <laughs> that's that's right. That's That would have been him. For sure. Okay. Um, a couple chains that don't do anything or connect anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what he's famous for? <laughs> that was a slavery joke. You know, okay. You, you I didn't, didn't get that? No. no. No, I didn't get it. He made the chains not connect to anything or go anywhere. Ah, there we go. See? Yeah. It's a freeing the slaves joke. Attaboy, Abe. <laughs> This is falling I, I apart. Wasn't, I wasn't really expecting a free in the slaves joke from you. We're getting distracted. Okay. Okay. So, young man Abe. We're going with young? Yeah. Okay. So, still on the farm, young? Uh, Yeah. Still on the farm. But he has to, for me, for this to be a particularly memorable night, I want him to be into it already. Mm-hmm. So... He has to be old enough that he has had that he's discovered his interest in both fisting and midgets. Mm-hmm. And for something to be particularly memorable, I would say at to some level this has to have become routine. Okay, so you think at this point 
Abraham Lincoln's, I don't know how old he was when he became president, but let's put him in his 20s someplace. Late 20s, maybe he's like learning the law. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. He's a lawyer, right? I don't know. Okay, let's he, go he, with it. He's learning the law. He's studying with cows. Yeah. <laughs> Giving him pop quizzes. <laughs> <laughs> he's having sex with the occasional sheep, as all our founding fathers did. Yep. Okay. But it's not doing it for him, the sheep. No. Okay. So you think he's routine? Yeah, but he has routine access to missions. <laughs> so there's a circus nearby. Yes. Okay. Yep. And he's quite fond of the circus mm -hmm. because he likes to hit the thing with the with the bell, like you swing oh, the yeah. hammer, and mm -hmm. you know, the the little weight the, goes up. Yep, and it makes the, the bell, bell go clang, and then. When he does it, the bell just flies off into a nearby field. Yeah. So every time he goes to the circus, they have to replace the bell. And he just thinks that's fun. It's almost like cheating if we put a circus there because that covers fist and midgets immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like we don't even have to do our jobs and try to imagine right. this. How did someone way back, then, way back then get into fist and midgets? Well, there was a circus nearby. Ah. Mm -hmm. Say no more. Covered. <laughs> So at some point, when he was probably a little too young for it to happen, he got fisted by a carny while a midget jerked off in the corner. <laughs> Just trying to swallow that image down. <laughs> um. Yup. Yeah that that seems that okay. tracks. I think that tracks. So fisted tracks. by a carny. While the midget jerks off in the corner. So Abraham Lincoln is looking like dead into the eyes of this midget jerking off. Yeah. 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 And just the carny is just the sitting there like. Now, to be fair, this carny wasn't all like bad. Like Abraham Lincoln was old enough to like be interested. Yeah. Right. And. uh Let's say this carny. This is in the days of casual pedophilia as well. <laughs> Like, like, I'd almost call it formal pedophilia. <laughs> right. She's 11. She's good marrying stock. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't yeah. call it casual at all. Enthusiastic. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I imagine, okay, so like, let's say it's a bearded lady who's fisting him, right? Okay. Explains his, his wispy beard later on in life. Mm -hmm. Always, always thinking fondly back of her. That's right. Um, and it kind of explains Mary Todd a little bit. <laughs> was she an uggo? I think she was an uggo. <laughs> you know, you don't. No one talks about her beauty. Don't you picture an uggo when you picture Mary Todd? I no. I I picture sort of like mid range pretty. I picture like just like not horrendously ugly, but unattractive. Plus, like, oh Christ, here comes Mary Todd. Okay, so she's a Debbie Downer. She reigns on the parade. Yeah. She is not enthused about <laughs> He's always trying to move them closer to a circus. And she's like, Christ, Abe, no. <laughs> Just fuck me once. <laughs> okay, so Abe, this all starts for Abe because there's a bearded lady who is just going back and forth from sticking her own fists up an elephant's trunk to get all lubed up and then up <laughs> Abraham Lincoln's ass. So just <laughs> elephant trunk to ass, elephant <laughs> trunk to ass, <laughs> elephant <laughs> trunk yep. to ass. Uh, the elephant's been trained to love it. Mm -hmm. So no animal abuse. <laughs> Dirty Folk does not condone animal abuse. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Okay, so now, geez, we really set ourselves up here because that's not his particularly <laughs> memorable night. That's just how he got into it. And it's routine at this point. So he keeps going back. Right. So he just goes free tickets and it's studying law with the cows in the daytime and farming to fisting parties. And, See, and it probably, you know, it keeps going, right? So, like, it's probably just, like, 
if he's there, why wouldn't he participate in the circus orgies? Right. Because I assume that they're all fucking each other and the animals, right? I think they must be. When you think of a... But- what are we talking? 1800s, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of an 1800s circus? Like, after hours? Mm-hmm. It's just some wild, horrifying sex party, right? Probably. It's just the swilliest of liquor. Right. And cigarettes falling <laughs> apart. And a plenty of what we would now call rape. <laughs> but what we but but that back then they would have just called good clean fun. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a lot of frogs died at these orgies. Frogs? Yeah. What are they doing to the frogs? Smashing them, killing them, throwing them against walls. I don't know. Okay, yeah, the geeks just running around. <laughs> I forgot about the geek. <laughs> God, do you think that's a game they play? Let's all get drunk and then like spit, like spin the bottle. But spin the bottle is who fucks the geek. <laughs> and like in the morning, they're never okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could spend my whole life at this circus, but we're really getting distracted. <laughs> okay, so we got so an Abraham idea of, how, gonna... of what made Abraham Lincoln the sexual man he is today. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, okay, and I, our dog is looking at me in the window. Hi, buddy. I just had a stroke again. Uh, hi, buddy. I'm oh. barely here. Okay, so, so we've established the groundwork of this, uh, of this circus, these carnies, but I think, I think we know that, uh, Anything that sounds sensational and like outrageous party crazy, if it's your every day, it's not outrageous party crazy anymore. So like, That's like true. someone's like in the corner reading a newspaper while they're playing Spin the Geek, and like, and and like this lady is going like trunk to asshole, trunk to asshole, with sort of a bored, blasé look on her face. She's like, she's having a, a, a an internal monologue moment of i i want adventure in the great wide somewhere this this is right and at this point the midget's eyes wander when he jerks off in yeah. the corner watching this because right abe just doesn't quite captivate him anymore right the love's gone yeah right because if it was wonderful and people might be assuming if they're just listening <laughs> to this that it was wonderful and who would want to leave. Yeah. Like, wouldn't this just wait, 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 wait? How did we even get an Abraham Lincoln as president? Wouldn't this just drain his ambition? He found paradise. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what makes him move on? Mm-hmm. Well, he dreamed big, and the passion was gone, and the love was gone, and you know. He, he was in, was he in Kansas, right? I don't fucking know. He dreamed of a world of better midgets and <laughs> you bigger don't think fists. Kansas midgets were the cream of the crop? <laughs> I don't think so. The rural I Kansas mean, you would, midgets. They might have been. I don't know offense to Kansas midgets, but if you're in Kansas before the internet or anything like that, you, you don't might know. imagine big city midgets, mm. gaggles of them. Okay. You might imagine a midget city. <gasps> a midget city. Right? I mean, if I was at a time before the internet, and I just heard a description of Asia, and I was into midgets, I might think there was a midget nation. Fair. And I might do anything possible to get myself there right because you're dealing with descriptions you're dealing with the occasional shitty illustration exactly this is like how tales of dragons emerge right okay so he's just like i will i will go to the midget nation and i will be king (laughs) (laughs) that might have been his his drive (laughs) or he might have been looking for like the perfect fist Mm mm-hmm what? Like 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 the Cinderella of fists. To does that make does that work? His <laughs> asshole is the slipper. 
you know what i'm saying yeah i I totally know what you're saying yeah that that just right fist not too big not too small right (laughs) i think that sets okay so so he's in kansas Mm -hmm. right like dorothy Mm -hmm. there's a lot of things in here that remind me of dorothy (laughs) (laughs) yeah he's in kansas he's studying the law with the cows (laughs) he becomes a lawyer Right, mm-hmm. I think at some point he becomes a senator. In here too, I am so reliant on you for this information. You shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh, you know, it's uh, that all that history has all been covered enough. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he's, read a fucking biography. Read a, in th- read a book, you <laughs> fucking monkeys. <laughs> so he's th- he's he's a lawyer. He's possibly a senator. Mm-hmm. He's growing tired of his elephant lube fisting routine while a midget watches in the corner. He wants to touch a midget. These midgets in Kansas, they won't ever touch him. They just, they like to watch. Mm-hmm. That's it. He wants to feel one of those little hands on his dick. Yeah. And they won't do it. It just... And it gets boring. They're very prudish, gets, those Kansas midgets. Exactly. These 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 sex crazed circus folk don't dream big enough for our Abraham Lincoln. He is a pioneer. That's right. He's, a he's legend. A go-getter. That's right. So he throws his lot in. Is that the right expression? I got a fucking I'm like we're Retarded. I'm so tired. I'm retarded. <laughs> <laughs> he he picks up his shit and he fucking goes out in the world because he's sick of it. Mm-hmm. So he decides, I'm moving on. I've got aspirations. Mm-hmm. I'm going to move up in the world. I'm going to become somebody. You know, the circus I'm interested in, America. The whole Ooh. thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a big tent. That's a big tent. <laughs> That's where the expression comes from. But if you've heard the expression Big Ten politics, it's about Abraham's Lincoln desire to think of America's one big circus and look for the right <laughs> fists and the fucking sexiest midgets. <laughs> uh, okay. So Lincoln, late 20s, on the road, journeying mm-hmm. to the Big Ten of America, trying to find... The perfect fist for his Cinderella asshole and the sexiest midgets who will right. touch his dick. So every day, a, a new quest, a new adventure. We're in the we're in the montage where he's sort of like the little train is moving across the map from point to point with a little red line, and he's he's trying this city, doesn't find the perfect fist. He tries that city, doesn't find the perfect fist. Right. So he's headed he's headed into the world. Mm-hmm. I think that's where we're gonna have to leave it for today. Mm-hmm. I yeah. We're gonna do a rare multi-parter here and follow our young man Lincoln in his journey. So the question, once again, we'll come back to part two: is if Abraham Lincoln was deeply into fisting and midgets, what would be the story of a very memorable night of fucking for Abraham Lincoln? All I right. feel like we're adding something important to the historical record here. Oh yeah, this is this is the untold story. Yeah, you can share these Lincoln facts with your friends and family. You're required to now that you know. <laughs> and next time Abraham Lincoln comes up in conversation, you got to do the well actually or the did you know? Yeah, the fun fact. I do. Before we go, real quick here, are we gonna do like a uh like I'm a President Lincoln voice if he has to talk at any point in time because there's also the like the popular thing now is that like Lincoln's voice is actually pretty high. Mm -hmm. Have you heard that? I have heard that. I I haven't actually heard like an example of it. So I just I kind of imagine like I guess I'm imagining like the way people imitate Michael Jackson. Well, there's the I'm Daniel Day Lewis one, real good president. where Daniel Day Lewis made it higher in the uh-huh. movie. I haven't seen that. He talks like 
is like a creaky door. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I can handle that. I'm the president <laughs> of this American nation. Is he actively constipated <laughs> and trying to shit? Well, he's fisting. Oh my god. He probably that's... likes butt plugs. Okay, so he talked like that because there's something wedged deep in his butt. Yeah, maybe at all times. that would explain it. If that's, <laughs> you know, a lot of actors believe that you have to have a secret. <laughs> That your character must have a secret. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, you know, we might have just discovered Daniel Lee Lewis's secret is that Abraham Lincoln had something shoved up his ass. He knows the same thing we know about Lincoln. What a great actor. What a great man. <laughs> uh, but I kind of like the Michael Jackson thing, too. Can't do some kind of mixed. <laughs> I'm willing to be the president. <laughs> See, the problem with that one is I can barely understand what you're saying. I will enunciate <laughs> and slow down. That works for me. I, Abraham Lincoln, am on a mission across America. I will use my lawyering and my oratory skills. <laughs> To rise through the ranks of this circus called America. <laughs> and I will find the perfect fist for my butthole. <laughs> and I will find the sexiest midget. When we return, sign up for the mailing list, dirtyfolk.com. Um, I'm not Harper the Fox. I'm Max Mooseman. I'm now Max Moosman. I'm Harper the Fox. <laughs> See ya next time. Hey, if you've gotten this far, you must be excited for part two. If you're listening via RSS, that's going to come out maybe a week, maybe two. Who fucking knows? But if you're signed up for the email list at dirtyfolk.com, it's available right fucking now. So... Even if you're not signed up yet, you can go sign up for the email list and then you can go to the archives. It'll be there available for free as well as a collection of other unreleased bonus episodes that have been email only. So go get yourself over there and listen to part two right now, dirtyfolk.com.